as a father of, of small children at the time, it could have been them. A missing two-year-old, reported missing by his dad. Having tools like a dog in southern Idaho that could track long distances is valuable. Pepper was one of those dogs. It's kind of hard to describe dogs sometimes. Sit. Sit. My name's Jim Sterling, and this is my work partner, Pepper. They're so individual. Stay. It's okay. Pepper and Jim, they were a team for sure. You can tell Pepper lived to work with, with Jim. Go search. Pepper didn't ever, that I saw, say no to going out and finding stuff. In January of 2011, Canine Pepper and I were the only team in the whole state. Within the first six months of the program, from the beginning of training till mid-June of 2011, we had some pretty good successes. Late one night, we got a call of shots fired in a cornfield. We were able to go out into that cornfield, and in 15 minutes, we were able to locate shell casings, a camouflage shotgun, and a hat. These individuals were hunting ducks in a field in March, and you know everybody in Idaho knows you can't do that. The special thing about that is it was our first case. I started to learn that I could depend on what he was doing. There's a lot of science involved in solving crimes. A dog's sense of smell and odor recognition are extraordinary. They're smelling things that maybe we can't see. Our dogs are good at discriminating odors, and that's part of our training. For example, if you're cooking beef stew at home and you, you walk in after a long day's work and the stew's been cooking all day, as humans, we're gonna smell stew, and it's gonna smell really good. For a dog, they're gonna be able to go in and differentiate all the different odors of all the different ingredients. They'll have the onions and the peppers, the beef and the stew itself. All of those things are gonna be distinguishable by the dog. Pepper and Riley have both been trained on elk, deer, antelope, sage grouse, pheasant, waterfowl, turkey, and fish. Also, they're able to detect gunpowder or gun oil and human odor. Pretty early on in our career, I say our career, I mean Pepper's career, we got a call for a missing two-year-old that had wandered away from his ranch house at 17,000 acres of sagebrush and grazing pasture. A two-year-old can go a long ways. As a father of small children at the time, the thought of, of having one missing uh, out in the literally, literally the middle of nowhere, terrifying. Pepper and I got the call, hoping to run a track on the little boy. By the time we got there, it was nearly seven o'clock, one of those stormy Aprils, and we started our track. There's a saying amongst canine handlers, and it's trust your dog. The dogs know what they're doing. Pepper was still nose down working. Starting to get dark. Everybody was getting a little frustrated. I suggested we regroup. And we decided to go back to the absolute confirmed last known location where the father could find, you know, little bitty cowboy boot tracks. I don't know that I can describe what it felt like. In 45 minutes, we were able to track the boy down. That was super rewarding. Father of the boy was, you know, super grateful. It's not often you get to see a rancher with his guard down. You know, just in the first five or six years, you know, Pepper logged well over 800 deployments. I'm here with my canine partner, Pepper. 
uh, who's recently retired and has been working with the department and working with me for the last 11 years. He finally started slowing down on how much he ate, started slowing down on how much he moved, which is a terrible place to be for any, any dog owner. Dogs definitely have the ability to bring us together. You know, he kind of set the standard and across the board, all of our teams are meeting that same standard. In 2016, we expanded Tim Cluckin and his dog Dexter, Craig Mickelson and his dog Blue, and Matt Haig and his dog Hudson. Now I have Riley. He's a super sweet dog, he's a super special dog. We got trained and certified um, at the end of 2022, so he's, he's ready to go and, and pick up where Pepper left off. Working with dogs has opened my eyes to a lot. They are so capable. They're so loyal. It's given me a great reason to go to work every day. Dogs are amazing creatures. Don't underestimate what's going on inside your dogs at home.